Okay, so we talked about the print object in the hello world patch, but let's talk about it a little more here. This won't take long. Um, so I'll open up the console here and we can see if I send this message box, hello world. Hello world! Oh no, it's not working. Why isn't it working? I don't know. Is it your patch locked? My patch is not locked. Oh, it won't Let's work. Let's lock the patch. So now these message boxes act as buttons because my patch is locked. If I have my patch unlocked, then I... I'm really just in place to edit that. I'm editing the, the button. This is actually not a button. This is a message box, but I'm editing the message box. If I, I have to lock the patch, this is really common. Everyone's going to be super frustrated in the first like three or four hours of learning Max. Lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Mm -hmm. Occasionally at the end of the semester, I find some students who still don't really understand lock and unlock. We're going to pretend like this semester is going to be different. Yeah, it's normal. Lock and unlock. It's, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. All right. So I click on Hello World. It goes into this print object. Anything that goes into any print object is going to come out this console window here. So Hello World. Great. So I keep clicking and every time I click, it's going to report what it hears. Print just reports what it hears. It prints it into the uh, console. So now look, there's this other one called Hello World, but there's a little comma in between the two things. What's the comma for, David? The comma. <laughs> Comma is going to treat this as two separate messages, and it's going to print them as on two separate lines. So, hello and world. <clears throat> I'll do that again. <clears throat> okay, clear the, I cleared the console. Now I click hello, comma, world. And it's treated as two different commands. Prints hello, comma, and then it prints world. So, same here. Two, six, uh, sorry, two, four, six, eight goes there and then two comma four comma six comma comma eight is going to print four separate things so i'll clear this two four six eight there we go okay yeah pretty simple print you'll use it all the time well have you already stopped it no why would you use a print oh man um so let's say your patch is doing something and you're not quite sure what it's doing you just want to sort of uh investigate you want to okay. troubleshoot you want to investigate where why are the numbers the way they are so you can just like quickly put a print in there and sort of tap into a specific part of your patch and sort of investigate what's happening there um yeah maybe maybe not use it all the time it right. comes in really handy uh, sometimes um but Mostly yeah. for troubleshooting. Yeah, I would say mostly for troubleshooting. Cool. Also, any errors are going to come out here, like you said before. Error, like if Max produces an error, how can we quickly produce an error? I don't even know. If you, I mean, as soon as you label a, uh, an object with the wrong name, it's going to produce an error. Uh, hmm. I think. So let's try print. Oh yeah, print. No such no such object. So I intentionally vastly misspelled print. And uh, no such job, such. Object. And it showed the object is brown, so right. two different ways that you know. But what's great too is like when I was first learning, I didn't know you had to put safe spaces in between arguments. Mm -hmm. So I would get the the brown box, and it would tell me something was wrong, but I wouldn't know why. Mm -hmm. And that's the console allowed me to understand that better. Cool. Obviously. All right, let's move on. Yeah.